We begin Wednesday's press review in Zimbabwe with the Herald is a story. Coronavirus UK Health Minister Nadine Doris tests positive. Health Minister and Conservative MP Nadine Doris has been diagnosed with coronavirus. Doris, the first MP to test positive, said she had taken all the advice precautions after finding out and has been self-isolated at home. This comes as a six person died from the virus in the UK, which has a total of 382 cases. In Nigeria, Vanguard carried a story. You will challenge Sanusi's illegal detention, banishment, legal team. The legal team of the dethroned Emma of Kano, Muhammadu Sanusi II, declared yesterday that his detention and banishment by the state government would be challenged in court. This came as the dethroned Emma said he took his dethronement in good faith, linking his removal to God. In Cameroon, the Guardian Post Daily says National Assembly Anglophone CPDM MPs gangs up with Northerners to become Speaker. If the plot materializes, the post of PM will return to Grand North. Momo Division, hydrate villagers destroy Amber Camp, free kidnap fund, orders. Nish Watch write, armed conflict in Northwest, Southwest, government accuses NGOs for receiving 5 billion CFA francs to destabilize Cameroon, gives the NGOs, CSOs and Human Rights Association 60 days to submit annual report to MINAT. Five arrested in connection with Bamenda Women's Day explosion. Ending in Uganda with Daily Monitor. Mystery over a gang that attacked UPDA. And Uganda Embassy in China has to return 2 billion shillings mistakenly sent. Ministry of Finance has asked the Ugandan Embassy in China to return more than $538,000, about 2 billion shillings, that was reportedly sent in error as part of the relief money for Ugandan students stranded in Wuhan, China, the epicenter of coronavirus outbreak. <laughs> 